Okay, so my name is Juan Esquivel. I am originally from Guatemala, but I've been living in Belize for 15 years. I moved to Belize because um, there is more opportunities here to work and the people is nice, it's a very multicultural country. So in the past, when our village was first settled in the 1800s, our people, our ancestors, our elders were the owners of the forest. They lived in harmony with nature, they respected each other, you can farm beside each other. No one will bother no one. No one will tamper with your fruits, corn, whatever. Everyone respected each other. And so they lived in communion. And then uh, they also carried out rituals, what they inherited from the ancient past. But unfortunately, because of modern religions now, there are dozens or hundreds of religions, especially in the villages. These guys come and, and then, you know, mix the brains of the local book and they go with many, many religions. Of course, in the past, the Mayas were not that perfect. There are lots of gods, but it was only one people. Now, we have different cultures. Really fascinating that there's there's probably about seven, five, six or seven predominant cultures here, and they're in such a small space. This country is the size of like the state of Massachusetts, and we have about 300,000 people living here, so it's a really small country. You can drive east to west in three hours, so, I mean, it's very small. But in that small area, you have so many diverse cultures that have really been able to keep their their culture alive. So it's not just like one big culture. There's there's a distinct, you know, if you travel around to different villages, there's a real distinct um, difference between each. In Belize, it's just, just like America. It's a melting pot. Apart from Maya, we have the Arab Belizeans, Arab, Hindus, or you name it, we have it. <laughs>
I'm Charles, um, Charles Shaw, uh, zookeeper here at the Blaze Zoo. And, uh, well, just talk about uh, spider monkeys. Well, the spider monkeys here in Blaze are very few remains in the wild. Few in the past, they were affected by disease uh, yellow fever. So, here now in Belize, uh, very few remains in the wild. And, uh, presently, their population are getting back little by little. The Gutipaca or the Gimnats, we locally call them here, are the largest rodent we have in Central America. They are wildly hunted here in Belize. It's a delicacy here in Belize. And, uh, the Queen visited in Belize in the 1990s. She was given this to eat, and so here in Belize they are now called also as the real royal rats. And uh, they will eat fruits and nuts. They are highly nocturnal animals. <laughs>